I started very young. Because I had an older brother, my dad helped out at boys' basketball camps, and so I'd always go with him. The head coach came over to me and said, throw her in there. She can dribble as good as a lot of these older kids. And she just started like dribbling up with her left and back with her right. At three years old, she could hit a layup. I was amazed. I've, ne I've never seen anything like it. And for the Raiders, 5'5", five, five senior, number five, Paige Reiner. I believe the latest ranking is seventh. We just progressively keep getting better, which is what you want, especially towards the end of a season. We're definitely feeling good. She has the all-time leading assist record at Williamsburg. Um, she is the all-time leading scorer at Williamsburg. Um, she will be the first to tell you that's because she's got great teammates. If you're worried about your stats, then there's probably something wrong. At the end of the day, what does it matter how many points I scored if we didn't win? I call it just playing basketball. She wants the highest percentage shot. That's why Williamsburg's so successful this year. We have many different threats. She's never set individual goals for herself. From the time she was a freshman, she's had one goal, and she, she wants to be with a team playing at Wells Fargo in the state basketball tournament. And that was something that we talked about when they were little. We took them to the games and said, this is where we want you to be, and isn't this exciting? And getting them excited about it. It's one goal that she has in basketball, and she hasn't achieved it yet, and, and uh, I want it so bad for her. I mean, I, I, I know that if it doesn't happen this year, um, Dad's gonna have to get it together before she comes out of the locker room because it's, it'll be tough. Yeah, and it's hard. You know, she's not an overly emotional person normally, but you can tell that that last loss of the season hurts. Good job, Paige. Good job. Paige, for the most part, is a pretty introspective person. When things are bothering her, she goes, hey, I'm heading off to the gym. It's kind of like a sanctuary for her. I love empty gyms. It's always kind of enlightened me, I guess. When things get kind of stressful or difficult, um, I usually just go shoot. It's really weird. I mean, you can step into an empty gym with all these things that you think are problems and then leave not feeling that way anymore. Everything just seems right when you're shooting a basketball or dribbling. I think that's part of the reason I love the game so much. My major that I'm going into is psychology. I just find it fascinating, I guess, um, just how the human brain works, your thoughts, your feelings, and kind of how that makes us who we are. When she was in eighth grade, she started getting mail. We've got tubs full of letters. And I remember the first day they could email. And her email was just blown up with all these schools. She's got letters from eight of the 12 Big uh, Ten teams. Uh, she heard from over half of the Big 12. For me, the recruiting process started with I wanted to be close to home. Drake has always kind of been special to me. I just fell in love with the people there, and I think that's most important. I was at an elite camp there, and they kind of just pulled me aside and offered it to me in person, um, which I liked. I believe I got in the car and started calling like everybody I knew. It was like, it was a very big, exciting event for me, so. I'm so proud that I've got a, a daughter that's gonna be playing Division I basketball. We'll be the biggest Drake basketball fans that there are. <laughs>